unified by a love for this unforgettable, untouchable stretch of East Australian coastline where only the time and the tide change, united under a trust with a 150-year pledge to protect it for generations to come, committed to conservation through education. These are just some of the ties that bind a handful of owners from all over the globe in Linnaeus, a private estate of landscaped architect designed beach homes and cabins set on 111 hectares of coastal dunes, rare rainforest and wetlands on the edge of the Cape Byron Marine Park. If you're not an owner here or a visiting scientist, artist or musician in residence, this film will be as close as you'll ever come to seeing Linnaeus. What is the secret? You've probably been sitting there wondering, what is the secret? I'll tell you how I have come to understand it. Probably the best way to describe it would be that uh, I've been selling real estate for 21 years. I've never seen anything like it, it's unique. And I've sold property from the Gold Coast all the way up to Cairns. I've sold a lot of resorts up in Palm Cove, Port Douglas. I've sold a lot of property uh, around the Sunshine Coast. There's nothing as unique as what you get in this particular development. It's that private, you can't even come in here and look at it. Linnaeus is the creative, flotsam jetsam dream of landscape architect Phil McMaster and business partner Steve Duchon, a project over 16 years in the making. We have national parks to our north, we have crown land to our south, we have a marine national park to the east, and so we are surrounded by, in effect, natural parks or reserves. This is our own national park. First of all, it's beachfront. You know, so it has one and a half kilometres of dunal structure, which is about the largest frontage to the Pacific in the Byron Shire by a long shot. It has seven or eight different habitats, wetlands, we have forests, we have literal rainforests, which are quite rare. Named after the 18th century naturalist Carl Linnaeus, the estate comprises 27 copper-roofed, cool, temporary beach homes crafted from superb timbers with soaring spaces and intimate retreats, cantilevered decks over two floors of handmade everything, with north to south ocean views through floor to ceiling glass across native Australian bushland. The developers have gone and, and created their own timber mill with timber they've pulled out of Sydney Harbour. Incredible things like that. Four surf shacks called the Beacons, Australian made cabins with a sense of style, finish, finesse and fun that turns tumble to their humble title. Indeed, more imagination can be discovered in a corner of just one of their many quirky creative spaces than can be found in most homes. The owners that make up Linnaeus come from all different walks of life. Uh, they live in different countries, Sweden, Hong Kong, London, New York, the cement, if you like, is the natural beauty of the, of the estate. That's the main interest. The centre, offering dining, bar, a commercial kitchen, conference spaces, performance spaces, library, boardroom, and indoor-outdoor entertaining areas within an easy walk to a 25-metre horizonless pool, a gymnasium, and a freshwater dam, and the crab, a beachside meeting place. It's been fun developing Linnaeus and the architecture is based on a lot of fun details. The typical beach house is somewhere you want to hang out and have a good time and the houses have to sort of reflect that. There's better things to do, you want to go surfing, but you've got a cool pad to come back to, you know, it's, it's easy going. That's the way they're meant to be, yet fun at the same time. Most of my work was in national parks where it was really important. The landscape architectural component or the environmental planning was a very important part of it. And in a lot of those projects, the architecture followed from the landscape. The evolution, the way this place has worked, is that we've used a lot of recycled timbers that have history in them themselves. So they've, they've actually got a story. Plus there was a bit of scope to work with it, you know, to get the, get the interest, to get it to, to come alive and come out at you. For me, I describe it as being organic architecture, that is use of natural timbers, stones, copper, 
I think it's great that at least somebody stops and looks at it and wonders why. Why is, it, why is it that the way it is? Friends of mine say, when they look at the buildings, they say, well, there's something nautical about them. Others that have known my work up in the snow country say, oh, well, that looks like a bit like a, a chalet. All my mentors and or my heroes, my architectural heroes, did work of an organic style. And to me, that architecture lasts. It's not of a fashion and it lasts for a long time. Two hours from Brisbane, Half that time from the Gold Coast, half again from Ballina Airport, and within an easy drive of Byron Bay and Lennox and Broken Head. I think it's also the, the privacy. The big thing, apart from all the environmental features, the privacy. The total number of people on the estate at its maximum would probably never exceed 100 people, and more likely to be less than 50. Linnaeus is very hedonistic. You know, we have the beach and we have everything for the body beautiful. It's wonderful surf very private and natural and, and quiet here. A certain feral element to it. There's great restaurants, great bars, so we can escape. It's almost like a beach monastery in a sense. But we came to the conclusion very early on that to sustain the estate you needed to have some something other than pure hedonism. There has to be something intellectual happening. And we have visiting scholars and they include futurists, scientists, economists. They're here, and so when they're here, you can rub shoulders with them and ask them questions and establish your spot in the world. If Byron is the place you go to get away from it all, Linnaeus is the place where peace goes to get some quiet. Linnaeus has made a difference, it will make a difference. We have uh, a number of uh, listed endangered species on the property. Well, it's, it's quite possible that our little postage stamp will be the only green area between Brisbane and Sydney in 100, 150 years time. The philosophy is based on sustainability and preserving the estate for future generations. The structure is set up for the next five generations. Five times 30 is 150 years. So my kids, kids, their kids, hopefully they'll be here in 150 years. And it's always that place that's there that you can come to for all those private, quiet values, as well as having a great time. The hard part about leaving Linnaeus is there's absolutely no good reason for doing so. This is only for a select few. You know, you hear that saying a lot, but this is only for a select few. The secret is the law of attraction. We're all working with one power, one law. The secret is the law of attraction. What is the secret?